So, today I want to talk to you about confidence intervals. First of all, what is a confidence interval? When you make an estimate or a prediction, you don't know exactly what's going to happen. Like the weather, I could say the high temperature tomorrow will probably be somewhere between 40 and 50 degrees. I've given you a range rather than an exact value because I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I'm making an interval estimate. I'll do one example of making a confidence interval and then we'll talk more about the theory. Let's say I want to know the average height of men in New Jersey. I probably should not go out and measure all the men in New Jersey. That's not going to work very well. So. I measured the heights of 100 New Jersey men. And the mean of my sample was 69.3 inches. Now, the mean of the sample is probably pretty close to the mean of the population. But how probably and how close? Well, you can pick how probably. You also need a standard deviation. Then you choose a level of confidence. On the test and on the homework, I'll tell you what homework, what confidence level to use. A real statistician makes their own choice based on a variety of factors. I'm going to choose that I want to be 95% sure. So I'm going to make a 95% percent confidence interval for the true mean. My chosen level of confidence is 95 percent. So, we want to know how close to this is the true mean. Well, it depends on your E. E is for margin of error. It's the give and take in your estimate. You might say, well, it takes me 40 minutes to get to work, give or take five minutes. That's the give and take, the margin of error. We have a formula for it. This is just the standard deviation. We got that, 2.6. N, what's N? Same thing it always has been, 
sample size, the number of men that I measured. ZC, this is a subscript. C is not a variable. This is a Z score that depends on level of confidence. So now we know what all the players are. Now we can find E. For right now, I'm going to just tell you, for a 95% confidence interval, ZC is just 1.96. Later, we'll come back and see how to find that. So, one point nine six, your standard deviation is two point six, and how many men did I measure? A hundred. So, punch that into your calculator. It's not too sensitive to errors in entry, and it should work out to about 0 0.5096. I'm going to go with. I'm going to round it just to 0.5 because that's how much precision I had in my mean and standard deviation. So E is 0.5. Okay, what does that have to do with the heights of men? E is the error in my estimate. So I'm saying that the true mean height of men is within half an inch of this number. So, Point three plus or minus point five. We can also use this to make a range. Sixty nine point three minus point five, okay, that's sixty eight point eight. Sixty nine point three plus point five is sixty nine point eight. So the true mean is probably in here somewhere. So I am ninety five percent sure that the true mean is between sixty eight point eight and sixty nine point eight. So now we know not only approximately where the true mean is, but how specific your estimate is. Okay, so that's a confidence interval. 
Now, I'm sure you're all wondering where the heck the 1.96 came from. Let's talk about that. <laughs> 